So I kind of want to just kind of play around with this mower right here. Got this for free. I saw it at the landfill and just grabbed it because it's got a really good deck. Something's wrong with the motor, the flywheel. I, I don't know if this thing's going to turn over or not. It could be seized. I'm going to put some gas in here and see if I can get this thing to start. So I've got this other mower over here. I know it works good. The motor's good. So what I was thinking is I could just swap the motor to this deck. Put some gas in there. Ooh, it leaks. So see that right there? Look. Totally leaking. So that's a big problem there, and that's probably the reason that they threw it out. So it's totally leaking out right there, and it's just gonna get gas all over the place. I guess that's a lost cause there, which that really sucks, because I was kind of wanting to... I was hoping that that was gonna work and that I could save this engine. Considering that thing's leaking like crazy, I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm just gonna set it right there for a minute. This engine starts first try every time. It's awesome. And this thing's from like 2006 or five or something. And it works fantastic. So I think I'm gonna try to use this engine on that mower. Cause this deck sucks. These wheels are all out of alignment and they're just junk. Five eighths. Gonna get this thing off of there. This engine's good. I know that's for sure. This. I like this mower a lot because it's got a bagger. It's just got everything that uh, a real serious lawn enthusiast would need or want. Really like this mower a lot but the wheels suck on it. Okay, well that broke that. That's not too good. Be able to just get this off of here. So now I can throw this thing. I, it's a shame because I love this bagger. The mower goes low, it's great. I just wish that the wheels would work right. So here's this guy. Okay, so these are both MTD machines. So I would think that the motor should fit. Probably both brakes. Gonna get this off. Okay, so that's good there. Let's get this motor off of here. I'm telling you, this thing feels solid. The roll's good, the wheels. I mean, this is just a simple push mower, folks. Mowing down weeds. This on here. Ah. Ooh, that's pretty awkward and heavy. That is incredibly awkward and incredibly heavy. I mean, for Pete's sake, it's a freaking, it's an engine. What do you expect, you know? So like I said, these are both MTD mowers. So they should be very similar. Last time I used this blade, it was brand new. See how chunked up it is right there? This thing was brand new. So that goes on there like that. So I'm pretty sure that will just go on there like that. And I may have to put, I may have to put a zip tie around there. And this was like this, like that. Okay, this should go up here, like that. Uh, ooh, that's pretty sweet, this deck's better. You just uh, put one side down, it does both sides. So that's, uh, that's definitely better than the last one. I don't know how low it's gonna go. But let's put some gas in this sucker and see if it works here. Like I said, this mower's never failed me. Prime this a few times, it's probably totally flooded, sitting on its back. This is a Briggs & Stratton motor. Uh, six horsepower motor, I'm not sure what CC this guy's got. That other motor was 140 CC. This one looks a little bit bigger. Six horsepower yard machines mower. All right, so this thing should fire right up. Like I said, it always has, it probably always will. I haven't used this mower for, so 
So I haven't used this mower for six, eight months, a long time. Well, probably six months. The kids actually were using it at the neighbor's house. Check out how it just started up the first time. And this is much better deck. So now I can get rid of that guy there. The only thing that sucks, the difference between these two is this one doesn't have a bagging system. Okay, so it doesn't cut anything off there in the front. I know it'll cut some off here because this is uh, hasn't been cut in like two months. Whoa! That was a serious malfunction there. Something went flying. I don't know what that was. That was weird. It felt like a rock. I don't know what that was. I just uh, sucked up something really good. I'm not kidding when I say that I haven't mowed this in two months. It's kind of hard to get hard to get area with the triplex. I've got all these stupid uh, roots coming up through the soil. So I haven't mowed it in like forever. So that's gonna be a much better deal. I'm pretty sad that it doesn't have the bagger on there. That part pretty much just really sucks. But other than that, it's good. I'm really happy with that. And I had been planning on doing that all summer long. But I'll tell you why I don't like mowers without baggers. See this right here? So wet grass, grass blades everywhere, tools everywhere, uh, parts everywhere. That's why I don't like mowers without baggers because it leaves all this crap in your driveway, it's a bad deal. So that's pretty cool. Happy to have that fixed. I can get rid of that other one, maybe. What I need is more lawn mowers. So see the snow blower there, single stage? Hey! Don't you eat without me. So single stage Craftsman snow blower, not gonna cut it this year. Need to get a new snow blower, different snow blower. Cause I had a fiasco last year pretty bad can't let that happen again so now i just got to get rid of this engine here clean up these tools <clears throat> not a bad little engine really so that's gonna pretty well do it for this video thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one